clap. Hey, what's up, everybody? Why now? Capture Me is the Insta 360 One RS One Inch 360 mod right here with the external audio setup with an external wireless microphone. Connect directly into the camera and capture audio internally with the camera. So the camera comes with video and audio, and this is the audio quality. The wireless microphone I'm using right here is the Linsco. This also provides a separate backup audio actually stored internally in the SD card inside the wireless receiver microphone unit. So I can listen to what the actual sound like with the actual audio signal. And here is what it sounds like. Well, it's a huge difference. They are exactly the same audio, able to capture the same microphone. One sending it wirelessly into the camera, and one just back up, store the same signal into the SD card. And they does sound different. Why is that? And this video will explore that. But this tutorial, we're gonna actually teach you the best professional way to get you the best sounding audio without using even that. We'll give you a 32-bit flow recording so you can have absolutely the best audio, professional quality. So let's do a test. Let me talk really loud and try to clip the audio for you to just show you the comparison. Let me talk really loud and try to clip the audio for you to just show you the comparison. Well, the second setup sounds a lot better without any clipping. In fact, the 32-bit flow recording you will never clip your audio. This is perfect for vlogging when you have no control of the environment. What I'm going to show you also has time code sync. It fits the audio time code into the One RS Core unit right here. So your see video and the professional sounding audio are always in sync without the need of doing that. We will even cover capturing and sounding audio with the Zoom right here, Zoom A3 VR with the same time code system. Let's dive right in. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here. Insta 261 RS 1 inch 260 edition has been out for a month now. I got lots of complaints from my viewers about the audio quality. I personally use timecode system and external audio recording because I am a pro. I did not realize the problem is somewhat serious. Many other reviewers on the internet actually use this setup with the Rode Wireless Go or the DJI mic, and they claim that they sound great. Have they even listened to their own recording? Let me talk really loud and try to clip the audio for you to just show you the comparison. You just hear it. It sounds like absolutely <laughs> One honest reviewer, the legend, Philip Bloom, does point this out. According to him, all installed with the camera 1X2, 1R, 1RS 1 inch 360 edition with the microphone attachment right, right here. We record 16 kilohertz audio, not 48 kilohertz as advertised on their official website. I also know that it has a couple milliseconds of sync with the video as well. And that's bad. I'm sure Insta360 will fix it eventually. I'm not here for the drama, I'm here to give you a solution to fix that. Let's be honest, if you are a professional videographer, you know you should never record audio directly into your DSLR. Even the several thousand dollar Sony Alpha 7 or the Canon R5, cameras are used to capture video. Unless you have a very expensive cinema camera like the Canon C70 right here filming me. The best practice in film school is always record audio with an external audio recorder like the Zoom F6, Test Cam, you name it. So, solution of this is actually very simple. Don't spend extra money on this or this and record your audio externally with a Rode Wireless Go. 
In Adobe Premiere, just select all the clips with audios, right click, synchronize, audio, done. Okay, now the problem is solved. Let's really explore a better audio workflow for Instar 261RS 1 inch 260 edition, which is, by the way, a prosumer camera. You want the best audio quality to match the good image quality. Sound is half of the picture, quoted George Lucas from Star Wars. So, what you are going to learn is to get the latest audio technology, 32 bit flow recording, and time code into your 1RS 1 inch 260 edition. Instead of consumer grade mic like the Rode Wireless Go or the DJI mic, I choose the Technical Sync E and Track E system right here. It has two units, just like the consumer wireless lav system. The difference is that the audio is captured internally in a 32-bit flow inside the microphone unit right here. This unit attached to your One RS is only setting audio time code into the camera. Since we are not using the audio port here for audio, so it does not matter if your One RS has poor audio quality. The best part is the time code unit is smaller than the receiver of the Rode Wireless Go, so it's perfectly invisible. It even has a clip right here to prevent the 3.5mm jack pulling out during action sport vlogging, so it's really a professional setup. It comes with a little velcro here that you can stick it onto the UNI-Z One RS 1 inch 360 mount, just like that. It attached onto the camera. It's not going anywhere and safer than the magnetic mount. Now, let me quickly show you how easy post-production can be with a time code system. Open Technical Sync Studio, free from the hardware purchase, but also a great standalone software for audio syncing and audio time code. Drop in the Stitch install to see video files. It can be the reframed 16x9 final render or full 360 videos for immersive production as I use here. Also, the 32-bit flow audio files. Immediately, it will tell you all the important metadata. If all media has time codes, you also see the green sync info as everything is auto-sync for you already doing input. It also fixed the audio drifting issue for long recording in the background. You can uncheck Keep Camera Audio to remove the bad audio from the Install 260 and replace it with the new high quality audio. If you want to go directly upload without further editing, assuming you have done your editing in Install 260 Studio, you can click Media and render out a pass through media. Basically, the render has no video quality loss, only replacing the bad audio with the good audio, and the file is ready to upload on social media. I'm on a Mac, so I rendered it out as an MOV file to just show you the end result. But most of the time, if you want to do further editing of your vlog or to see videos in editing softwares like Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro. So we are going to render out an XML project file with multi-cam support directly to Premiere. Click the XML button here, choose your editing software. For me, it is Adobe Premiere. Now open Premiere and create a new project job in the XML project file directly, everything is organized and synced for you. As you see here, no more syncing is necessary. As you all know, the clap sync only works if the camera can hear the clap. If you forgot to clap or if your mic is too far away from your camera, you will need to manually sync them. Time code is to make sure that never happens and get frame accurate syncing without any audio drifting. If you want to learn more about how to set up your technical sync system, I highly, highly recommend checking out this video right here. It explains in details why you need 32-bit flow recording and time code system for all your video capture. The technical sync system is expensive. I know. If you don't need time code though, there is a better alternative, the Zoom F2 right here. It is actually cheaper than the Rode Wireless Go or the DJI Mic. It is a 32-bit flow, distortion-free recording, 
and sound way better than any of your consumer solution. For syncing, you can use a digital slay system like the Movie Slay A right here on your iPhone that show the timecode. All these devices has Bluetooth to sync the timecode together. Now let's quickly talk about Ambersonic Spatial Audio Capture. Install 261RS1 in 360 Edition is a 360 camera. I use it to capture immersive video on MetaQuest 2. Immersive video requires spatial audio. The cheapest way to capture it, it is using the Zoom H3VR right here. I have an in-depth tutorial here already on teaching you how to use H3VR. One thing really important to remember, the Zoom H3VR is not here to replace your lavalier microphone. It cannot capture human talking. It's only for environmental spatial audio. So you should sync it with your laugh. Technical sync or Zoom F2. Luckily, Zoom A3 VR also support an external time code sync using Auto Sync Blue. You will need to get a Bluetooth unit here. This little USB light devices plug onto your A3 VR to enable Bluetooth. Now you can receive timecode using Bluetooth and the Auto Sync Blue. You can then jam the timecode onto your F2 LAV and digital slate on your phone with timecode display to sync with your One RS 1 inch to 60 edition. Okay, this should cover everything you need to know on getting professional sounding audio into your Insta to see One RS 1 inch to 60 edition. This system also works with Insta 2C Pro 2 and Insta 2C Titan. In fact, that is what I have been using for my high-end VR production. It makes sense to get better audio for 1RS 1 inch if you are doing job like multi-camera shooting and 1RS is one of your over-capture with frame camera. It is also how you can get time code and sync with your other 2D camera in editing in post-production. Yes, it might be overkill for just daily vlog, but hey, now you never need to worry about audio or audio drifting or audio of sync. I hope you can actually make money of the knowledge you just learned. So if you want more, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel Hit the notification bell for the upcoming 360 video masterclass featuring a whole new set of Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, and even Final Cut Pro X tutorial on how to shoot, edit, and publish high quality video with your brand new Insta 2C One RS 1 inch 360 edition. As promised, they are coming. I will see you next time.